Our political system is dominated by two big parties, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. Other countries have a clear dividing line between the leading political groups, but in Ireland, we're different. So what, if anything, does divide the two power centres of Irish politics? In Ireland, we don't fit the international pattern. The closeness of the village community fuses family, friendship, commerce and politics, making each a personal affair. Usually there's a big block on the left, basically people who favour higher taxes to pay for better public services and state involvement in the economy. And then there's a block on the right who back lower taxes and favour market solutions. But in Ireland, we've two big parties and they're both, broadly speaking, right-ish. Down the decades, they've moved further right or to the left, but they've generally sat around the centre of the political spectrum. This is the way of things. In Ireland, it is the politician's role to provide the linkage between countryman and bureaucrat. So where are they today? At the last general election, RT carried out an exit poll, asking people to place themselves on a left-right scale, so zero being very left-wing and ten being very right-wing. The mean or average voter was at 4.98, pretty much bang in the centre. But supporters of Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil were at 5.84 and 5.7, respectively. In other words, both are slightly to the right of the average voter, and the two are almost exactly the same. So in crude terms, they're both targeting the same market. But there could be differences on other issues, so nationalism, for instance, and that's the issue that divided Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil in the first place. The two stem from the Sinn Féin party, which split in the early 1920s over the Anglo-Irish Treaty. The local common, or branch of Fianna Fáil, traces its genealogy directly from the first Sinn Féin common in the peninsula. Secretary of the common is John McAteer.